Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a method for dynamic filtering in Excel. I have developed this mechanism to filter the data in dynamical way. If I wish to choose the country name from this drop down list, the corresponding data will be retrieved. If I change the year from this drop down list, output data will be shown for the respective year. This is all happening by just changing the options here. Now this is exactly what we are going to create. All right, let's create from the scratch. We have these countries data. Let us create a drop down for all the countries. Put your cursor here. Go to data menu. Choose the data validation option. And here, just unfold the menu and select the list. Here, pass the all countries names. Press OK. And now we are able to access the country name one by one. That's fine. And let us implement the same for year number. Choose the validation option. Unfold this menu. Select the data validation. And here select the list. And provide the all business years. And press OK. All right. Now years are flexible to change one by one. Just I would like to change the format here. That's choosing the font name, Aptos. All right, I will convert all these sheets data as table and I name the table with the concerned country name. Let's start with the United States data. Go to insert menu, click on this table option. Our data will be converted as table. Just press OK. Here I choose normal table style and I'll just rename the table name as with a country name. I'll repeat the same action for remaining countries data. Insert menu. We can click on the table option or else we can directly press Ctrl T to convert the data into table. Just press OK and choose the normal style, copy and rename the table name. And here you can choose the table style whichever you want. Just I am flexible with the normal. All right, we have converted our all sheets data into table format, fine. In Excel, we can call a table data as similar as formula equal to, just I would like to call United States data. If you observe here, the symbol is similar like a table form. Just I'm pressing tab, I just press enter. I got the all United States data. And I'll check with another table, that's Brazil. Enter. I got the Brazil data. Okay. To fulfill our requirement, I start with the indirect function that is indirect. Just I give the reference of this country name, close parenthesis, just press enter. We got the whole data of corresponding table. If I change the table name here, the relevant data will be retrieved. And here I need to put a filter for required year. To do that, just I start with the filter function. Okay, let me erase this. Equal to filter function. For this array parameter, I start with the indirect function. Just I'll give the country name, comma. For this include parameter, I start with again indirect function. To provide the required condition for the given year, I start with the concat function. Text one is table name comma in this table year name has to be filtered for that i start with the inverted quotes i provide field name that is year close parenthesis for concat function and again close parenthesis for indirect function now this filtered year should be equal to this year all right now close parenthesis for filter function and just press enter. 
we got the data for respect to country and the concerned year. All right. Let us check this. If I change the year number, the data has been dynamically changing. Right. That's the way we can implement a pattern for dynamic data filtering in Excel. If you like the video, please comment, share, subscribe.